Okay, today is February the 3rd, 2019, and right now at 9.45 p.m. We have a temperature of 48 degrees here in the foothills of Los Angeles. The uh, relative humidity is 97%. The dew point is 47 degrees. And the barometer is down slightly. Uh, well, actually, up slightly. 29.8 three inches. Earlier today it was down at 29.78 so it's rising slightly but we've got another uh, low pressure system moving into uh, California. We can see that uh, low pressure right here it's moving in. This was moving south and it actually is being steered into the central California area. If we look at the uh, SSEC uh, water vapor map which uh, covers the last 24 hours, we can see the uh, the low pressure right here. Let's let it, here we go, right up here. And as it drops down, we see that right out here, we start to see a very strange uh, appearance of high pressure evaporating one side of this weather system. Well, actually, what we're seeing is a vector force here. We have high pressure being installed right on this edge, and uh, that's going to push that system right into California. We can also see a bow on the upper side that's pushing it down to the south. Let's just let that play for a minute. We can see that half of it disappears. We've got tropical moisture right now which is just now starting to move into California or Southern California. We've got the uh, the rain is uh, back falling once again. Uh, since uh, the uh, second of February, the beginning of the second, we've had five and an eighth inches, 5.125 inches. That brings the season total to 19.38 inches. This time last year on February 2nd and 3rd, we had uh, a total of 5.7, actually 5.75, five and three quarter inches last year at this time on the same day. This year we've got 19.385, so we're off to a pretty good start uh, getting underway here a little bit late in the season, but uh, things are looking pretty good. Um, of course, we had that rain on the 31st, 1 and 5 sixteenths, and so uh, the combined total from the 31st to the 3rd today is 6.56 inches, so that's pretty good. And by the way, this is just normal rain that we used to have uh, 20, 30 years ago. Uh, these puppets on TV make a big deal about uh, the heavy rain that we had, but uh, I've seen heavier rain, a lot heavier. And uh, anyway, we're happy that these uh, weather controllers are finally getting the picture and sending rain into Southern California because this place really needs it. You know, when you have palm trees and eucalyptus is starting to uh, die off, uh, you know that uh, things are not good, but uh, at any rate, we're getting a, a good amount of rain, and uh, if anything, uh, this rain will uh, wake wake up the uh, the city leaders uh, to clean out the canyon, the canyons, and the washes, the spillways, get the trees and the debris out of these uh, out of these dams. There's a lot of people that have grown up in the last 15, 20 years that don't realize. That what we're having right now, this this is just basically what used to be normal rainfall. So once again, we can see how this system is being manipulated and steered into the west coast. It's dropping down, and then all of a sudden we see high pressure being installed right here. That uh, acts like a, a force, which is going to push this thing right. And of course, we have the jet stream right here as well, so that's helping to move it in. But uh, we see a strange... Uh, evaporation pattern right there and also this bow right on the upper side right here so we've got a low pressure up here this is uh, being manipulated as well by a transmitter satellite based transmitter right up there the rain that we got yesterday and uh, actually the previous day is is moving away we can see that first storm moving up through Idaho and up through Montana this is about a 1,003 millibar system. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, uh, surface analysis map. <clears throat> we can see this low right here, 1,002 millibar with a cold front. 
right off the coast of California, moving in. Got high pressure out here. We've got a, a much stronger low right off of British Columbia, 994 millibar. This is indicated as a storm. This is generating some very high swells. We'll take a look at the uh, swell report here next. You can see that uh, storm right off of British Columbia is generating 28 foot swells right out here. Right off of California down here, central and southern, we see 15 foot swells in this area. All right, let's take a look at some of these satellite maps. This is the western, or rather the northeast Pacific water vapor loop. And we can see the, uh, the partial jet stream flow down here, south of the Hawaiian Islands. This is what's bringing our rain right now. This is just now moving in in the last two, three hours. Got that low moving into uh, the same area, the Bay Area, San Francisco area. See an evaporation pattern right here in the jet stream. In the, uh, the jet stream. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, jet stream map right now. We'll see the uh, pattern. We've got high speed flow around that low pressure moving into uh, central and southern California. We've got high speed flow right here through Baja California and out into uh, Texas. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the western U.S. water vapor loop. We can see that weather system moving in. And this is what's bringing our rain right now. Take a look at the uh, infrared map. You can see those pockets of moisture moving in. And looking at the uh, Doppler radar right now, we can see that the uh, WSR-88Ds are busy off the uh, coast of San Francisco and further north. It's, uh, these transmitters are chopping up and evaporating the precipitation. Those uh, microwave transmitters will regulate the amount of precipitation a given area will receive. We can see the uh, transmitter right up here near uh, Fortuna is chopping up and evaporating the moisture and the precipitation up in that area. Near Oroville, same thing. We've got a transmitter right there near Oroville. And the same thing. These are the ground-based transmitters, the WSR-88Ds. Then we have the satellite-based transmitters, which generate those giant evaporation patterns in the uh, satellite maps that we were just looking at. Now, looking at LA, we can see that rain is uh, beginning to move through uh, Malibu and Thousand Oaks. Uh, Santa Barbara, where all the fires have been uh, set. So there's been a lot of uh, a lot of runoff, a lot of water. They were showing the uh, the uh, LA River, and uh, there's a lot of a lot of water coming uh, through that uh, channel. A lot of water. See some snow up in the uh, San Gabriel Mountains. It's all good. Okay, let's take a look at the, uh, right here, this is the western U.S. water vapor loop. So we're expecting rain through Tuesday. That's the official report. Presumably that'll all come from this uh, tropical flow that's moving in right now. And then after Tuesday, we'll see a high pressure installation right on top of this uh, moisture field that'll cut the spigot off and this will blow through and we'll be back to sunny days and probably uh, some chemtrail aerosols uh, within a, a couple of days and the cycle will just repeat until they decide to turn the spigot on we'll go through the same thing we'll have a couple of days of fresh air following this weather that's moving through and then we'll uh, get back to those aerosols we'll be spraying those things again
Okay, let's take a look at the uh, southwest infrared map. We can see these little pockets of moisture moving in. Water vapor loop. Got a dead frame here. Let's get rid of that. See that partial jet stream flow moving in. All right, let's look at the pressure maps. This is the sea level pressure map. We have a surface closed low right there moving in. See a lot of jaggy lines. There's a lot of manipulation going on at the uh, surface level, these uh, WSR88Ds will cause these jaggy lines. And right here, you see a big jaggy right here. We were looking at the, at the uh, Doppler map right near San Francisco and further north. We saw all those uh, pie-shaped cutouts. Here's the 500 millibar map. We see a closed low right here. We see some jaggies over central California. This is the system that just moved through. Here's the 300 millibar map. This is going to move in and suck in a lot of uh, tropical moisture. Okay, so that's the report. Uh, tomorrow and Tuesday, more rain uh, is expected. It's all good news. In the meantime, we'll just leave it right here. Okay, that's it.